guys, I'm from Solar Power Listening Please, a new series or video on Python learning. So in this tutorial, we just introduce you what you need to know if you want to learn Python. Python is a very powerful software that has been developed a long time ago. It's very important in order to run many algorithms as well as data science and uh, statistical analysis. This tool will just uh, give you the basis like writing a first code and uh, using a predefined function and we will show you how to install Python. Python is a free software and we just go on python.org, download, choose for the version which uh, corresponds to your computer. For example, I have Windows, you can maybe have Linux or Mac or other system, so you can just uh, download for free the version of Python that corresponds to your, your computer. If I choose, for example, Windows version, select the version which corresponds to the characteristics of your, your computer. To start uh, writing code in Python, you need to have what we call a IDE, Integrated Development Environment. There are many uh, IDE that you can use to write your codes when you are, uh, you are using Python. So, so, uh, one of IDE that I can recommend to you is PyCharm. PyCharm is a very interesting uh, IDE that you can use in order to develop uh, your uh, Python course. It just go on PyCharm, jetbrain.com slash PyCharm and uh, download the version of, Py, uh, of PyCharm that is free or uh, if you want to uh, you are professional. So you will just focus on the free version of PyCharm. Well, now just uh, go to the site and download PyCharm. When you have installed, first of all, Python and second of all, uh, Python degraded development environment, you are now able to uh, run coding in Python. So it's, the installation process is very simple. So when you have installed your Python and Python, you can just go on your Python icon and double click to have this screen. Uh, in the installation process, we have to, uh, we will uh, be required to create project execution files. Mice, I will call my project. To start writing your first code, you just need to make a right click on your uh, of my project file here in the right, uh, in the left hand side of your interface. So you make a right click on uh, new and choose Python file. So click on Python file and you will be required to uh, give a name to your Python file. I will call it my first Python. So I click on enter. The project is uh, now created and you can just uh, begin to write your first Python. So uh, the first thing I would like to uh, show you is, for example, how to print, for example, a message, type, for example, name, so you enter man in your screen, just with that uh, you have uh, some proposition, I, I click on this to have to define some condition in which I will, uh, what could you have, if name equal man, I will print, quotation mark to say uh, what is going to be printed is uh, I am a good citizen, to execute my code, I uh, just click on the green button here and select the option run my first item. So I click on OK and we see that the phrase is I am good a citizen has been printed. You can also uh, define a function called main. So the procedure to define a function is to use the command there for my space as the name of the function main. So my first function will be called main. So I will use the predefined function print as previously to, to write the instruction that my fun my function will, uh, will return. So I will write for example print I am a good citizen. I will also print for example I will print a number 10 for example and in this case I will not use quotation mark meaning that I will character that we print is a figure secondly I will call my function call main uh, in this command using uh, this function so just say if name equal main as the name of my function I will call main called function main so uh, for now I will just execute my condition as I have defined my function call main here I will execute my command which call my function main and you will see that uh, my uh, two uh, commands will be printed. Uh, not only I am a good citizen, but also the figure uh, 10. Then I will go on the in bottom and run my first Python. It's a syntax take, so I, I choose a put a uh, point, two point here in my function so that I will re execute. My so you see that I am a good citizen has been printed and the figure 10 has been printed. So I can also print I am in very good conditions. I can also add print here. So I will just execute my option and you will see that all these four uh, lines will be printed. So I click on run first and can see that all the four instructions that have that has been given has been printed. I am a good citizen, then I am in very good conditions and 2020 has been printed here. So you don't know that first of all, uh, 
content in which we can so store element can be numerical or string so variable can be various kind in this tutorial we just focus on string and numerical tutorial we have shown you how to create a function my function has been created and was called main so this is the instruction that we will use in order that has been used to create a function by keyword def followed by the name of the function and bracket two point at the end we have defined a condition in order to call our function which is uh, what you can see on your screen so coming back on variable the first thing to do is to give the variable a name i will create a variable that i will call for example here of bird my space is not allowed to separate the component of the variable so you cannot also put a special character such as uh, slash star negative plus that you can use for example underscore to separate component of the variable here of bird First thing to create, give a name to your variable, and secondly, you should assign to your variable a value. So I will assign the assignation symbol. In Python is the symbol. Equal. So I will assign to my here bird here example nineteen So I create a, a numerical variable to which I assign the value of nineteen. I will use the print command in order to uh, ask Python write print. So we have seen this uh, predefined function last time. So I will print my uh, variable called here of bird. So I will put into bracket the name of the variable here of bird. So I should keep at least two lines between the end of the function and the instruction that I have write I have written in order to call my function. So I click on the green button here to execute my code to see that there, uh, there is a missing so what is the problem? Is the space between here? Should be by the way, the to see here bird has been printed. So you see that the value that I have assigned to the here bird has been printed. So for now, I will create a program that we calculate, for example, the here bird giving the data that will be entered. I will write here this symbol in order to tell uh, Python not to take into consideration what I am reading right now. Calculate the age. So the, the instruction that I am going to write right now is uh, to calculate the age. So I create a variable. A variable called age in which I will assign the value uh, 2020. I suppose that we are in 2020 minus uh, year of birth. So I assign the variable age the value 2020 minus year of birth. So when you uh, make this operation, you will obtain the uh, age of uh, the concerned person. Go in my green button here and execute my code. So I did in print. So I will print. I use quotation mark called string space plus the concatenation symbol i concatenate, uh, concatenate two uh, things so i use int u r plus so i will put here h u r plus h i will put here h here old space plus uh, open quotation mark here in python it's not uh, possible to concatenate a string and numerical variable so i will use str to help my variable be recognized as string so i will put space after r, r is the space between uh, age and we also put space after here to have uh, a space before age and here old so i can just execute my program so you can see here that you are 33 year olds have been printed because the value the previous value assigned to the year of birth was 1987 and the age calculated was 33 according to the mode of uh, calcul that uh, of calculation that i uh, given in the program so I can change, for example, the uh, here of bird into 1919 and if I execute, re execute my, my code, you see that here is 1919 and you are 30 year old age which were entered in my command was uh, 1919. Print, you are 30 years old. You can, for example, continue in our program. I continue in the program in order to show how you can ask to Python to enter age. I will create a variable called name so you will understand a little bit, uh, bit further. Name equal, I will ask uh, Python to input. The command input is a command that is used in order to uh, tell Python to ask the value that we will enter and he will produce a result. Put into a bracket, open a quotation mark, enter, the name. Secondly, I will assign to the variable here of birth the value input enter the here of birth i will assign to the value of age the value python cannot recognize input enter the here of birth as a numeric and so i will put a function in in order to tell him that the here of birth that will be input will be numeric 
this is the command that is used in order to tell him that the value that, that is going to be enter is going to be uh, so i will assign to, the, to my value uh, age as uh, previously the value 2020 negative error of birth so at the end of my program i will print name name is a string variable so i will not put quotation mark name plus space plus is plus copy this uh, part of the code here or paste here copy paste and at the end python will print name put space here string age here or objective of our program is to ask uh, python to uh, i will delete the, what we have written first concerning here of so i will just keep this uh, as part of the program so i will give the name uh, put your name into a python and python will calculate your age and print your name and age at the end of the code so i will execute my program so that you can see what is being done enter your name so i will enter my name show for the enter enter your here of birth here of birth i will enter 1987 and i click on enter so what is written is chill for the is 33 year old so you see that you can do many things using a variable in python so it will just uh, an introduction next time we show uh, you uh, any other notion that you need to know in order to very well master python that's what just about the variable and thanks a lot for listening to this uh, tutorial and we'll see you uh, a little bit sooner